Okay, girlies, in my daughter Dominic's voice, that's her favorite thing to say lately, but I feel hurt right now. I am channeling my grown and sexy vibe in this beautiful kinky straight wig. She does come courtesy of my first wig, and I'm going to be doing a 100% glueless, flawless, pre-everything yaggy straight lace wig install. This is the gorgeous girl in the final result. We went for a side part vibe, and I'm absolutely blown away because, again, this one is 100% glueless. It's literally giving put her on and go and i'm going to show you all the details and how we got this look so if you're interested in getting the vibe and getting the tutorial going let's get started okay first of all i want to say rest in peace to my baby girl if you watch me you guys know that flat iron has been with me literally probably since i had my first child she didn't want to charge today i don't know what it is but i think she has gone to flat iron heaven so we have a replacement today we're going to be trying but for now let's get started on the hair tutorial as i mentioned this one is from my first wig and we've got this beautiful yaki straight gorgeous lace wig this one here is a kinky straight side part glueless human hair invisible lace front wig and i'm going to be showing you guys how i install her from start to finish get a load of of that texture close up straight out of the box she's absolutely beautiful and you know we're gonna put a little bit of a bump to her so she's gonna have a little curl vibe she does come with the adjustable elastic band inside and i like that it has her name on it this is a look at the nape as well as the full inside construction of the cap you guys already know i like to give you a pregame of what we're dealing with so that you know if you want to purchase this wig you can see like the inside the outside the front the back literally everything about her this is what she looks like on and then this is what she looks Looks like from the back we're dealing with a 16 inch beautiful pre everything wig when I say pre everything look at that hairline it looks like it's coming out of the scalp it's pre cut lace pre bleach knots and then it's also pre plucked here is what it would look like set as a center part and also another look at the lace you can part this one everywhere and anywhere that there is lace on this one and because you have such a good parting space you definitely have range so center part side part half up half down you can do literally whatever you like if i did not mention this one is a 13 by 6 lace front wig and again we're going 100 percent glueless so step one today is going to be just to secure my edges i'm just going to use a fresh jar of the edge control from bdeckbeauty.com and look how snatch it get those edges super simple and easy this one does come with like pre-cut ear tabs it's like there is a piece that goes in front of your hairline or like in front of your ear and it'll be the perfect space for like a nice ear tab or a sideburn i did add a little bit of my glueless adhesive and this one is from bedhead i applied a light amount and then i put the lace on top once i feel like it was in the secure position i did put my melt belt on top you'll see this one is going to be glueless but i did want to melt the lace firsthand so you'll see towards the end of the video that we're going to lift it and it's still going to be 100 glueless so while that does its thing let's go ahead and do our dynamic duo if you're new here this is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and you guys did see i did open up a fresh jar of BDEC Beauty Wax and I've missed this girl so much. I've been trying to give you guys different products and show you guys like other brands that you can purchase and to be honest mine is the best. I'm not bragging but I love mine so much and I really 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 like the way it works with my hot comb. I'm thinking about bringing it back for you guys. Sometimes I you know get in my head and get my get a little bit discouraged but I think I'm going to bring and revamp the BDEC Beauty brand for you guys and here I am trying out a new flat iron. This one is on Amazon and it's very affordable. Now you guys know I never use the larger flat irons like this so this is not my first time using it but I don't own one of these because I prefer a thinner barrel typically and I don't know the inch on it but what I will say is I do love the fact that this one does go to like 450 it gets really hot and it can get a lot more hair flat iron the downside is that with the thinner barrels you can kind of do like a little bump to the hair and with this one it would not do that little bump you can do you know how you can do like the flat iron curls I don't think you can do that with these larger barrels but but it's okay it did a great job it got the hair nice and smooth the hair is kinky straight texture but it's more of a relaxed look to where you know it gives blowout but like a dominican blowout not like big poofy afro blowout so now i kind of smoothed it out and you guys can see how beautiful the hairline melted i'm gonna just turn it up a little bit by tinting the lace you can see clearly it really didn't do anything when i did that to the parting because the lace was already on point and that is exactly what i'm talking about ladies i love the fact that this 
everything was already ready to go i did do a little bit more dynamic duo along the hairline you guys can see it's flat flush and flawless but as far as the hair goes i like for that hair in the front to be super melted and i definitely was able to achieve that look so much so that i didn't need baby hair at all i was absolutely in love so i'm going to just add a little bit more of my lace tint and this one is different than the one that i used in the parting i always go for a darker shade up front and from here we're going to definitely go in and curl the ends i like the way this one looks straight and i'm for sure going to wear it many a time straight but it also was fun to do a little bump at the ends and give it a little bit of va va voom and body especially because we opted for a side part today and i also am going in with the sebastian shapers this is the plus i believe it's the white bottle and i like putting this on um and i was a little bit more generous i also did use a heat protectant on this one so literally everything we use is listed in the description box and i've kind of speeded through it so you guys can see what we did if i did not mention some special on this one is that this one is a pre everything wig it's super natural it's glueless and it's also a kinky straight texture and of course it's a free part wig so here i was playing with the idea of pulling forward some sideburns and i was kind of like taming it to go forward but again it was so flawless in the hairline that i just felt like it kind of like dumbed it down by adding baby hair like this is the one that you can do no baby hair and it really 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 looks good it looks natural and it looks super flawless so i'm going to go ahead and do the curls on the opposite side and at this point i kind of just wanted to do a top layer of curls and not the bottom so i was kind of letting those set and then i'm going to go ahead and like pull them apart and when i realized it really didn't like match if you will so i'm going to do this hack that i used to do back in like my college days when i really wanted to go out or just look presentable where i would just literally bump the end so it looked like i had curls that fell and it gave me five minute curls without having to go around and curl my entire head so i did the few curls in the front and then with the back i just literally bumped the ends and then when you go ahead and like pull it apart it looks like you did a whole look so that's a quick hack obviously if you have time go in and curl the entire thing but again this is really nice and then once you pull the curls out and you have it like set how you like it add a little bit more holding spray and just let it sit there and it'll hold the curl all day and all night so i'm doing the same exact thing on the opposite side and then again going in with that spray be careful some hairstyles may not you know be able to hold as much hairspray as i did use on this particular day and i'm not even sure that i actually needed it but again i just wanted to make sure that because this is a newer wig that it held the curl because sometimes your wigs will hold a little bit more curl like when they're old or when they're oily and because she's fresh out of the box i wanted to give like this is going to last for two or three days so again pull the curls apart style it add the spray let it set before you kind of like manipulate it again and that is pretty much it so we're done with the look but i really wanted to show you guys a really good close-up of the hairline i did no work here i literally just bonded it down a little bit added the lace tint and we're gonna lift it so you guys can see so never mind the little bit of crust from the bed head spray whenever you go in and just add a little bit more of your wax that'll go away but I wanted to show you guys how thin the lace is, how seamless it is, and it literally has been 100% glueless. It blends, it camouflages, and it does not move. It is absolutely perfect, and you guys already know I have it linked in the description box. So here I'm going to show you guys the packaging and what came in it. This is the box for my first wig as usual, and here is a load of goodies that I love. This is a mini size magazine, which you guys know is awesome. Here is the dust bag and it does come in this little pink color, which is really, really pretty and girly. And then they gave me a nice pair of brown wig caps, which I'm happy about because you guys know I'm over the HD wig caps. I like the brown because I don't have to add powder. And then this is an info card and it just tells all about the wig I received. Then also in the box, they did include this little reusable pouch. It's really nice. It has two different looks on each side, but it does have the My First Wig logo. Inside, they did have the crocodile clips as well as this My First Wig rat tail comb. And that is pretty much it, my loves. Oh, maybe not. They also included this travel or, you know, a pop out wig stand, which you can keep in your luggage. You can pull it out whenever you need it. And that is pretty much it. I'll have all the details on my gorgeous wig linked in the description box she's absolutely beautiful flawless and i've been into kinky textures lately i feel like they're 100 percent in and they just make the black girl the brown girl all of us look so so regal so let me know what you think of this one thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches